I was born ready. Ah. <laughs> I didn't drink Nailed enough it. during the show. Nailed it, Bryce. Nailed it. It worked. It was awesome. Very good. Hey, guys, that was an amazing show. Thank you. Um, and chat room, here's your chance right now. Since I was trying but failing to see your titles, you've got three minutes to throw in Wait. every title in the there, chat room. There is a show bot. Did you see it? You oh, didn't did see it? No, but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't no, work. No, Todd put one up. I'm oh. getting I'm getting a bunch of them. There's a there's some there's here, but I think people maybe didn't know about it. Yeah. I thought yeah, it was from a, yesterday. No, this is no? yesterday. This is for cord. No, this is about Facebook uh, and Medium, the one I'm seeing. It's not on oh, it's a different one. Jenny, it's here. Where? In the chat or in a, the Google Plus. Uh, oh, oh, there's another show bot. Yeah. Amazing. So Todd, Todd got it up there so we could uh Yeah. So this is what Alpha Geek Radio uses. Um, I'll I'll link it in the oh well there you go. Yeah. DCTV.link slash A G Showbot. Okay, let's go check it out. All right, where is that? I'll still accept titles in the chat realm though. Um suggestion bot. <laughs> I like that. Uh okay. I'll professional see, medium style. <laughs> oh, I like that. Professional medium or amateur face bot. Facebook. Boston Dynamics does it Terminator style. Nice. Good job, SP Sheridan. Um, can't we find a good medium? I like that. Uh, IRS internal rating the system. Uh, Facebook notes. I like Tumblr, lo, 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 yeah. but I don't think that's going to fly. <laughs> I... Uh, uh, that old, I really, actually, I really like that old shoe Facebook. That was one of my favorite things that may have ever been said on this show. <laughs> I really love it. It so entirely sums up what Facebook is. Oh, that old shoe. And also a giant company that's going to take over our is lives. Is that a saying? Because yeah. I'd never heard that before. No, it's just great. It's just a great poetic <laughs> oh, expression. We can, we can go with that. I kind of really want to go with that. But uh, I'll give the chat room a little time to yeah. decide. Sometimes well, I, I don't you know. understand the words that come out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I'll really? just say, as someone who was actually let go from a company that adopted stack ranking, uh, I have some... Not a fan? Uh, well, all right. So, no. In, in the immediate... Here's the interesting thing. It was both unjust and incredibly just. The... And it was such an interesting thing, like, in the company that I worked for, basically an entire org collapsed. And I was just one of the things that collapsed within the entire org. And so that was a failure because I actually was doing, in some small way, a very good job that didn't deserve to be let go. But there was no way to fix it because there was no org. And it just no left. org left. <laughs> but in the macro sense, it worked perfectly because I was very clearly not destined to be a very, I, I didn't do well as a very small cog in a giant organization that moved incrementally. I clearly work much better in the wild, wild west of two-person media <laughs> companies. So in some senses, it got it exactly right, and I'm much happier right. as a human being for it. So it's interesting. The, but the was it a temporary thing, or, or was it an ongoing? Was the stack ranking the, the way the company worked? No, it's still there at it, this oh. mythical company that I work for. It's very much <laughs> still alive, and it does... It's interesting, the, like... The worst it, case I saw of it was, yeah. was this company I was in. Uh, they Our engineering organization was 8,000 people, and the vice president of engineering decided that we were going to stack rank all 8,000 in a list together segmented by their their level so level seven separate from level six five four three two one so we ranked eight thousand people it took us two months of every single manager in engineering doing nothing but working on ranking the people uh, oh. there's your productivity improvement maybe we got out of yeah. everybody's hair though all the managers were out of the way while everybody could keep working <laughs> it was a nightmare went for three years that way yeah it's just like it's so interesting because there's always going to be examples of people for whom it is a disaster that they got stack ranked because of like, if you can sit down with the person ultimately making the decisions and do, um, it, the, the thing that resonated most with me about the Amazon thing yesterday was having to go into a, uh, like a big conference room with your superiors and argue to keep and litigate and have charts and things up on the wall about 
the, your, your underlings and why they're valuable, mm-hmm. why they should be kept. And, and that happened. That happened to me. It was, I was one of the people oh, up yeah. on the wall being fought for. And, and you know what? Like it did, ri- it did rid the company of people whose destinies were elsewhere. Because but really, I, everybody who got let go ended up with a lovely destiny. I, you know, <laughs> the thing with Amazon, I still stand by this. What I said yesterday is that I still think it's just a failure of uh, proper hiring practices. You, you, you essentially do kind of like a, a filter feed effect where you grab as many people who match all the the dots that you want, and then you just kind of let you know, like, okay, we'll shake them out. And see, 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 see what's left. And I don't know. I don't think that's the most effective use yeah. of resources because you essentially waste time and energy um, training staff up and trying to integrate people. Who, if you know, if if you used an HR system that wasn't an automated system, and that's what they use, right? It's good. They they go through and they say, okay, the computer says these two, you know, th- this person qualifies. We'll just bring them in and interview them because you know for the five spots that we have left or something. I don't know. It's it's. It just seems kind of a back a back end way to kind of do something that should have been done right the first time. Yeah, and the other thing that I would say about it is that um, uh, it, the one thing that stack ranking fails to do is calculate the intangible benefit of people, which is it, oftentimes I have found in many companies the people who are I don't want to say good people, but who don't politic, the people who don't politic, who don't climb the ladder, who want to do a good job the right way, are often the first to go because they're not politicking and they're not fighting for I, themselves. I, I know this, I know of this firsthand and yeah. I won't say where, but um, it is, especially with large organizations, it is not uncommon to find kind of a weird, you know, I hate to use the, this term because it's so used so often. It's a very Game of thrones Right. Like, everyone has their own fiefdom carved out, and even within a large organization, it's right. sometimes impossible to get anything done reasonably without, you know, gre- you know, without oiling, so, so, so you know, the, the, the right gears to, to get what you want. And, unfortunately, that also affects um, your empl- employee motivation, right? If people are working at a job, and they see no future. They see no no chance for advancement, or even you know it doesn't even have to be like to the next level up. It could just be laterally. Um, you know you're not going to get the best out of them. So you could have a very bright, capable individual who is performing at 10 percent of their capacity due to I would it, it's a very high school thing of you know personality uh, disagreements. Yeah, I did learn, however, I mean, the one good thing about going through that system is that I did learn too late for the company that I was at, but not too late for the rest of my life, that you have to sell yourself everywhere you go. You have to make sure people know. And as basically like a, I don't want to say like an introvert because I'm obviously not, but I'm one of those dumb people who thinks like, oh, I'm doing a good job. People will see that. And like, you know what, that ain't true because the people who are in charge of you are doing a lot. And and they're, they're, the, the term managing up was never so true as it was when I worked in a stack ranking yeah. system. Like, you can't rely on the person who's trying to save their job to know to save your job. I do oh, not and like by you. the way, I, I have a message for Tom. I, I do a really good job at hosting shows. <laughs> um, I think I, I'm funny and uh, also considerate, which is a rare quality. Um, so, yeah. I think we should do we fake this show title. Yeah, you know what yeah. we should do? I know what we should do, and Tom will hate this, so we're probably not really going to do it. But we should do a mock stack rank. Uh, on a hangout that's just that is a terrible using, that's a that's terrible. Awful. Using, <laughs> just use Showbot to do it I would get fired immediately but like I love the idea of just really doing it in public so people can see how horrible it is let's let's ask we'll all do it the in patrons Showbot, let the fans yeah, no, the patrons no. oh Showbot. my god that would actually be an out of control <laughs> terrible idea because then everybody's feelings yeah. would get hurt and I hate yeah, that absolutely. like I, I like to live in a world oh. where people's feelings don't get hurt doing their job. Wasn't that the but, wasn't but, that ranking the number one reason why people hated working at Microsoft? Yeah. It, and well, it's yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was amazed by that because I lived with it for thirty-five years. I I've never been anywhere where they didn't do that. 
I didn't even know it was possible not to have stack ranking. Yeah, I've never been in a company that's had that, and I think I'm fortunate mm. yeah. in that respect. <laughs> uh, I can no, it, 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 there's a level of kind of uh, poison that I think it introduces into kind of an environment. Excuse me. So hey, the, Jenny, the worst did, thing. For, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, just to to cut in. Did did we pick a title, Jenny? No. I know you wanted to wait a minute. We just. I think it's got to be that old shoe Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Just because it's so great. It's so poetic. Um, but I think the worst thing about stack ranking is if you're in a position where, God forbid, actually everyone's doing a good job, what happens? You're you're actually going to get rid of someone who is doing their, uh, uh, you know, we're joking about the thing at DTNS, yeah. but as a thought experiment, yeah. if we had that kind of, of management ranking, uh, you would have to get someone try to think of who you would have to push out, and you're like, well, no everyone's one. cool. Everyone's yeah, good. So. That's the thing. That's the thing that stack cracking absolutely does not account for in the micro, which is I worked on, at this mythical company that certainly nobody knows who I'm talking about. I worked on a very small team, and everybody mm. did their job very well. And that's what was so brutal is that then what your manager was doing was going into their superior and arguing that my team is the best, your team sucks and has more fat to cut. And it's a mm. terrible thing. Like there is nobody, nobody on this DTNS team in who if we were it, a team in a corporate environment should be cut. Everybody has fantastic oh, value except Ellie, I think, because all she does is go blah, 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 all the day long. <laughs> <laughs> look, uh, at her, look at her adorable little face right now. <laughs> we might I think be, she was uh, saying L O L O L O L. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. She well she is the target, you know, age group for, right. for Tumblr. So look at her face. Um, uh, we we're getting some feedback from one Ace Detect uh, oh, yes. on, on on Slack, which is one letter away from Stack, by the way. Yeah. Um, and you know he reminds the patrons that uh, for the Stack ranking for DTNS, really uh, employees, it's Tom Merritt. Yeah. It's one person. <laughs> it's one person. As he said. So. But that uh, is. he did have another good idea, which is let's st Stack rank tech CEOs. If we did a stack ranking where we were forced all the tech CEOs to, I guess that's called Wall Street, but. Uh, <laughs> and it is ruthless, but it does create lots of wealth. So yeah. hmm, pros and cons. Yeah, pros and cons. All right. Well, I think we've sort of covered it. Uh, guys, thank you so <laughs> we run much. this, this into the ground. A fantastic episode again, and thank you, Bryce, for making it actually go and be hearable and watchable. That is so awesome. And thank you, Roger and Ellie, because you guys are the future. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Goodbye, YouTube. Bye-bye. Bye, YouTube.